The purpose of Red Wing was twofold. To test 17 experimental weapons and devices, to conduct some 43 weapons effects tests and diagnostic measurements associated with the 17 shots. The Cherokee weapon was detonated on 21 May 1956 with a yield of 3.8 megatons and a height of burst of 4,320 feet. 1957, Operation Plum Bob, the sixth in a series of continental tests conducted by the Atomic Energy Commission to further our weapons development program. In terms of numbers of test devices detonated, this was the largest series ever attempted in Nevada. Army's 280 millimeter gun. When this shot was added to the program, some additional effects tests were scheduled to observe results of the low burst height. Since no gun type assembly had been detonated since the Hiroshima bomb, the weapons development scientists had on this shot their first opportunity to study the nucleonic behavior and fireball configuration of such a device. Yield 15 kilotons. Six seconds it takes the bomb to fall, the men of Operation Ivy wait on Parry and any Weetok Islands. Unlike the Mike phase of the operation, the King phase will be observed from land. The bomb is now at 8,500 feet, at 6,500 feet, at 4,500 feet, at 2,500 feet, approaching 1,500 feet. Watch the air overrun it. 